Hello friends, you are welcome again to the continuation of our series on electrical drawing. So in the last session, we look at a general overview of electrical drawing and their importance. Good. In this episode, we'll be learning about some basic electrical symbols that can help you to easily read and understand electrical drawing or electrical plants. And that can also help you to prepare your own electrical drawings with standard symbols. All right, so not to spend a lot of time, we start right away. All right, so we'll start with the most basic items and then we look at a few of them. So first of all, let's start with uh, lamps or light. So in drawing, these are the symbols that we use to represent lamps. Okay, these two are usually used to represent general symbol for lamp okay so normally they are used interchangeably to represent lamp in general or light okay then this one is the symbol that represents fluorescent lamp fluorescent lamp the light with a long tube and then this symbol also represents spotlight so if you have a lighting circuit or a lighting wiring and you want to indicate that the lights you are putting there are spot lamps then you use this symbol so this is a general symbol for lamp and i said that these are normally used interchangeably so you may see this or this to represent lamp and then if it's a fluorescent lamp you use this symbol All right, so the next set of symbols I'll be explaining are symbols that we use to represent different types of light switches. So in electrical wiring, practically there are a lot of different types of switches, but here I'll be talking about these basic ones that we normally use in wiring. All right, so if you are wiring a simple lighting circuit in which you use one switch to control one lamp, you will need a one gang one way switch this symbol is used to represent that type of switch this is a one gang one way switch and then this is a two gang switch so it's two gang one way all right and if you want to have a look at how the real switches look like i have another video with the title house wiring materials name list you see most of these types of switches and then i explained why they are called by their names then this is three gang one way all right then when we come to the down here this is a two-way switch two-way switch this type of switch is the one we use when you want to control a light from two different positions and then they are also used together with intermediate switches to control a light or a number of lights from three different points then here we also have an intermediate switch so this symbol represents an intermediate switch an intermediate switch is a switch that we use when you want to have an arrangement that will enable you to control a light or a number of lights from three or more different positions. I have shared some videos under this one where I have explained how to use all these types of switches. So you will see how to use an intermediate switch. You will see how to use a two-way switch. You will see how to use a simple one gang, one way switch. All of those videos are shared under this video. So just click on more at the end of the description below and then you see all those videos. All right, so this is intermediate switch and then this is the symbol that is used to represent dimmer switch, dimmer switch. So there are times that you, you want to control the brightness of a light or you want to control the amount of current that goes to the light which either will increase the brightness or reduce the brightness of the lamp. This is a symbol that is used to represent that type of switch. Good. So the next set of symbols are sockets. 
okay so sockets also we have different ways that we represent them in a wiring there are some socket outlets without a switch so this symbol is used to represent socket outlet without switch then this is a symbol for switched socket outlet or socket outlet that has a switch and then this is also used to represent double socket double sockets there are two ways that we represent them so this is one way to represent a double socket then you know apart from the normal electrical sockets we also have other socket outlets for television for data and then for telecommunications so here we can add this and then we can use this to represent a television socket okay so next we have um main supply intake point so usually we use this to represent a consumer unit then this also represents main or sub main switch okay so these two are sometimes used interchangeably then here this one is the symbol for fuse so this represents fuse and then this represents circuit breaker then in wiring also we use electrical wires and then at certain points the wires are joined together at some points also the wires cross each other but they don't connect so these symbols are also used to show whether the wires are connected at a point or they are just crossing so if you see a drawing and then you see the lines crossing like this then it means they are just crossing they are not connected sometimes you can also use this to show that the wires are crossing but they are not connected at a point where the wires connect together then you have to show by providing a dot like this so if you see wires crossing and you see this dot it means this wire that is crossing is connected to this one okay so these are wires connected these are also wires connected these are wires that just cross each other but they are not connected next this is the symbol for a three pole breaker this is the symbol for earth electrode this is the symbol for electric fan and then this symbol also represents electric bell okay then again when we come to um, motor control wiring here are some of the basic symbols that we use when we are drawing motor control circuits this is the symbol for a dc motor and then this symbol is used to represent a single phase induction motor this is the symbol for three phase induction motor and then this symbol is used to represent motor starter then we have another symbol here that represents stop push button and then there's a symbol for start push button all right so then this symbol is used to represent a contactor coil this symbol is often used to represent normally opened contacts okay so it could be normally open contacts of a contactor or normally open contacts of a relay then this last one also is used to represent normally closed contacts all right, so uh, these symbols are not exhaustive. These are not all the symbols you'll find in an electrical wiring plan. But these are basic symbols that are often used in electrical drawings. All right, so because um, this is a series, I don't want to keep this video too long. So I will end this one here and then continue in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have learned something useful from watching this video, kindly give a thumb up. And in case you are new to my channel, I suggest that you subscribe to stay connected. See you in the next video.